Alright to YouTube, another one of Kip's Clips. So, most of you will know that I'm a fan of the No Agenda show. Brilliant information. It really is alternative media in the sense that it is original. And you will feel, find alternative points of view there. It isn't just the alternative media where we all sing from the same hymn sheet. They actually have a different point of view. So I use the new agenda, I use their show notes, and the, one of the coolest things ever happened the other day, man, and I have to share it with somebody. I've told people, and they're like, <laughs> what? Because they don't understand. But I've done a video um, propagating the information from the No Agenda show, and uh, the coolest thing ever happened, the actual dude that does the show, ex-MTV presenter himself, Adam Curry, now of the No Agenda, show the best podcast in the universe but i don't know it's i think it's the coolest thing in the in the world man and it's um stand and he's corrected me that the author's name was a brian hess i believe you pronounce that and the coolest thing ever i've actually had adam curry say in the morning to me and thank me for my courage it's fucking phenomenal <laughs> Uh, so, <clears throat> I had to thank Adam Curry for watching, and as always, thanks for your courage. <laughs> so that's the coolest thing ever. Adam Curry is a fan of my channel, man, and he's, uh, he thinks that video was good. And he said in the morning to me and thank me for my courage, so that's so cool. Now, I know he has touched base with my channel before. How do I know that? Because I use the No Agenda show notes, an amazing resource, and the clip... I put on my channel uh, in the Irish Parliament with Obama. I can't I forget the lady's name now, but one of the socialists in, a, in the Irish Parliament was slaughtering Obama, calling him a war criminal, so on and so forth. And uh, <clears throat> that was in the No Agenda show notes, which I thought couldn't even get any cooler than that. Adam Curry's been on my channel. He's actually looked on my channel and took that. I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool. And um, <clears throat> now he's actually on my channel commenting. That's the fucking coolest thing ever, man. And um, it was the it was on the No Agenda show that they pointed me in the direction of the the, the Bertha Foundation as well. And uh, which then I done my video about the Bertha Foundation, which then led them to uh, change their entire website, remove quotes, change their symbolism, the cog, the Rotary Club, the communist symbolism of the, the, the Bertha Foundation. Um, and after I, they, he'd done his research, gave me the ball, I ran with it. And I, 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 I'd done what I'd done, put my videos up, and then a few episodes later, uh, on the No Agenda show, they actually... Um, talked about the symbol getting changed, so on and so forth. So Adam Curry, man, he's a fan of Kip's clips. Brilliant, man. Hey, I just wanted to... Oh, <clears throat> and another funny thing as well, talking about the, the anti... the, 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 the gay pro... the anti-Russia gay propaganda bullcrap that's coming out, just as I was going to make this clip, I seen this, and it's pathetic. It's, uh, this is what I mean by propagating the anti-gay propaganda when it isn't true. You wonder what I'm talking about? Go and check the No Agenda show. Go and check this um, clip out. <coughs> Excuse me. Go and check the Russian LGBT law uh, white paper. Absolutely. If you want to know what's happening with this bullcrap, go and read this paper. It's amazing, amazing, amazing document. It just breaks it all down. It de This is what you call doing real deconstruction. It really deconstructs it, de de deconstructs it all for you. Um, so let's have a wee look at what bullcrap they're peddling now. We want to actually challenge convention and we've tried to hold a mirror up to something that we feel is, is wrong within Russia, coming out to the Winter Olympics um, with the, the anti-gay propaganda laws. We we want to... WRONG! WRONG! It's not anti-gay propaganda... Ah. Sorry, I'm, I know I always interrupt this thing, but this guy is wrong. Um, ...with the, the anti-gay propaganda laws. We we want to show that, like, straight up, we think it's wrong. We've released a beer that is, is our protest against this. The first question I would ask this gentleman, who f fucking, for whatever, he seems to be Scottish. He's not really Scottish if he's that, that stupid to believe this crap. Because, 
first question I would ask, how can it be anti-gay? How can this law be anti-gay without using the word gay, homosexual, or any indicator to um, being gay? <laughs> any word that could be even interpreted as associated with being gay. Right? How can a law be anti-gay without using the word gay, homophobic, uh, homosexual, or anything like that? Any of those terms. How can a law be anti-gay when it doesn't use the word? Right? But no, 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 don't. Let's not ask these questions. Let's listen to the Telegraph. Let's go and buy beer with Putin saying I'm against gays. When the rumour has it, Putin is gay himself. And Russia is no more anti or pro-gay than elsewhere. In the grand scheme of things, if you put them on a set of scales, Russia uh, actually is um, is uh, less anti-gay than the United States. Uh, I've not looked at the gay laws in the UK and we weighed them up, but anyway, let's get back to the anti-gay, the, the anti-Putin, because he's anti-gay beer. <laughs> Um, no, I mean, we call him manly, he's, he's obviously, he's proud of his body, so he likes showing it off, we've just, you know, we're complimenting him on that. What a muppet, um, I wonder if this company actually realises they are getting used, um, what I'm actually, what I might actually do. Something that we feel is, is wrong with it. Winter Olympics um, with the, the Brewdog. Okay, I'm going to try and get an email address for Brewdog. I'm going to try and contact them, and I'm going to ask them what this disgusting propaganda PR shit for fucking brain stunt is all about. I'm going to I'm going to try and email them and uh, see if I can get a response. Uh, I want to know what this fucking uh, Brewdog. Anybody, feel free to contact them. Send them a copy uh, of the white paper. You can download it here. Um, and ask them, who's the brains of this outfit? Can I speak to the brains of this outfit? Because it certainly isn't this Neil Taylor fucking moron. Uh, Putin's anti-gay laws. Uh, he's anti-gay even though he doesn't use the word gay, homosexual, or in any indicators of to that effect. Um, he's obviously just a fucking front man saying what has to be said for the cameras, but it's disgusting. And I ain't no fan of Putin. Make fun of Putin, I. But that's just politicalized. Be ah, it's horrible, man. Brew dog. Um, Let's just see what we can quickly see about Brewdog. Scottish craft beer company. And uh, I've, I've heard about this company before. I'm pretty sure it's like um, uh, it was an independent guy that started this up. So I don't know why he's getting involved with this crap. Hello, my name is Vlad. That's disgusting. I like beer. I like Scotland. I like seeing companies like this come up from nowhere, but this is disgusting. I mean, mate, see if we're going to try and do a, a shameless PR stunts for your brewing, uh, for, for Brewdog, do a wee bit of research, eh, mate? Please, please, like, fucking ask. Ask questions. Don't just, oh, I've got a good idea, Vladimir the gay beer. It's disgusting, man. Um... Aye, so that this is quite a wee independent company. I'm going to definitely try and get in touch with them, speak to somebody, and hopefully maybe do a wee interview and see if I can get them, uh, I don't know, to maybe revise this shameless piece of shit PR stunt. Um, I'll write to YouTube, so I'll leave it there. In the morning today, Adam Curry, coolest thing ever. He's a fan of Kip's Clips, and he said, thanked me for my courage. It's the coolest thing ever, man. That's like... Um, Fans at Infowars, that's like Alex Jones, although he's probably never typed anything in a, in a chat room in his life, he's got too many minions doing that for him, but that's like Alex Jones contacting uh, an Alex Jones fan, and that's but kudos to me. Uh, and they uh, look at the disgu disgusting PR from Brewdog. Um, well, you might get some 
uninformed gay people buying his beer. Um, although I can't remember the last time I seen a gay guy drink beer. Yeah, well, that's a lie. Last time I seen my cousin. <laughs> but, um, ah, shameless, shameless, shameless Auntie Putin beer. Who's a pretty Putin? Ah, oh, disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And uh, they're in the same city as myself. Definitely, definitely going to try and take this up with them, man. Because uh, I don't, I, I, I think they've just, um, I just think they're unaware of the real facts of the matter. And they've jumped on the propaganda. Ah, in fact, I take, unfortunately, I'm going to try and properly inform this guy because uh, I now believe that he's just jumped on the propaganda um, bandwagon without properly, pro properly, uh, properly trying to investigate it himself. Um, he's probably still caught, caught in the paradigm that when the Daily, when when the Telegraph or the BBC says something, it means something. I mean, can you see anywhere that's challenging this anti this anti gay? Uh, bull crap that's coming out of Russia. Nah, it's just to demonise the Russian Federation. Why? Because there's a world war going on. <laughs> if you ain't noticed. But anyway, <laughs> alrighty YouTube, thanks for listening. Um, thumbs it up. Share, uh, share it on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Um, leave all your comments. Check out the radio show, truthfrequencyradio.com, live every Sunday. 6 to 8 p.m. UK time, gun, Glasgow Underground News Network. You'll get me and Kev there. And leave me all your comments below, good, bad, ugly and indifferent. They're all welcome. Alrighty, YouTube, thanks for listening. Catchies.